Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are all well and warm, my beautiful children, and that you've eaten something warm to warm your body from the inside, and that you're warming your body from the outside by dressing warmly. Teacher Sarah's got a beanie, because I feel that if my head and my ears are nice and warm, then it warms me nicely. And I've got um, a top and a jersey and a jacket and long pants and boots. I just need gloves. And then I would have covered most of my body. But I hope that you all can we put our hands together and can we start by saying our praise. We've got so much to be grateful for. We are healthy. We've got moms and dads who love us. We've got a school and teachers that love us. We've got friends that love us. We've got nutritious food. We've got access to clean water. There's so many things. So can we put our hands together and let's say, Thank you, God, for this new day as we come to school and play. Please be with us all day long through every story, game and song. Please allow all the happy things we do to make you our Father happy too. Amen. Good job. Now, despite the very cold weather outside, and it's appropriate because we're learning about winter and it's very cold, so can we sing good morning to each other and can we try and warm up our bodies and can we sing it with excitement? Let's sing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Well done, beautiful singing. Then we're gonna sing our weather song and then we are going to use our, are we gonna use our ears to look out the window and see what the weather looks like today? Oh, our eyes, why do we use our eyes? Because that's how we see. Good job. Let's sing our weather song. What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it? Sunny, is it windy? Is there rain or are there clouds? So you look outside and you tell me what's happening. Yes, there's clear blue skies with no clouds. What's giving us light and heat? Our big yellow sun. Is there wind? Lots of it. It's howling. It's blowing like this. It is blowing. Feels like you can be blown over. It's also really cold. Did you leave your freezer open at home and all the cold air is blowing on us? You didn't? Okay, I'm glad you didn't. It is freezing. It is windy and cold. It is also winter, which is our theme this week, but it's also our season that we're in. Remember we talked about summer, autumn, winter, spring, round the names go in a ring. All together let us sing summer, autumn, winter, spring. So we are, we've had some at the beginning of the year. We moved into autumn. Remember all our trees got naked. All the leaves fell off them and all the seeds and berries and everything fell to the ground. The winter just got progressively colder and more dry. But after winter, we know it's going to be spring again, and then it will be summer. And when we were discussing what your favorite seasons are, you all either said spring or summer. So we've got those to look forward to. With our weather today, is it snowing? It's not where we can see it, but there is snow in different places around our country. Remember we talked about, we'll show you some pictures now, where you can get snow on the mountains, and so often there is snow and that's where we get this really, really cold front coming from. Is there fog? Not that I can see from where we are, but who knows, maybe other people do have fog at the moment. It's very windy and I think because it's so windy, I think we should turn this, even though the sun is shining and it is a sunny day, it's very, very windy and that's different from how the weather was yesterday. So we're going to put it on windy today. It's not rainy, there's no clouds, it's not overcast, it is sunny. There's no snow here, but there could be snow in other places, and we don't see fog. Then it is the morning, that's the 
time of the day. Later, it will be the afternoon when you would go home from school. And in the evening, you eat supper, get bath, and go to bed. Then we look at our months. Can you remember what month we in? It comes after June. It also starts with the jumping gym. July. We are in July. Remember, we went January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, and December. There are 12 months in the year. So we've got a full hand of five. Another hand of five makes it 10. And then we've got two. You can show me two fingers at anywhere. Two. So we've got five plus five is 10 plus two is 12 months of the year, but we're in the seventh month, which is July. And today is a one and a three. It's 13. So can we clap our hands and can we count to 13 together? Good job. Let's get it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's how old my Maddie's going to be next month. She's turning 13. It's the 13th of July. And our day of the week is changing to a Tuesday. And how many days in the week do we have? Do we have five? Do we have three? Oh, we have seven. Let's sing our song about the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. What are they? Monday, which was yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Seven days in a week. And today is Tuesday. It starts with a t -t 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 for talking test. Tuesday. So we've covered all of these things today. Let's get on to what we're learning about. I've seen some videos on our Little Good Girls group to your mums and dads about migration. So when animals move to warmer places because the seasons change and there's not a lot of food available and they don't hibernate, they don't go to sleep for the winter, they're the ones that move to warmer places where there's more food available, they migrate, lots of birds migrate and then they come back in the warmer weather. Some of them hibernate and they go to sleep for the winter when they don't have food. They either go sleep or they go and they stay in their burrow where they've collected food over a period of time and they keep it underground or in a tree or in a burrow or wherever it is and then they stay there and then they eat the food that they've stored. Sometimes they hide it outside they burrow around and they remember where the nuts and seeds and things are and they're like squirrels and they'll go and find them again um, and some of them they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat when they know the cold season is coming so they put on lots of weight and then when they go sleeping their body burns off all that extra food that they've been storing to keep their bodies alive while they sleep through the winter very very clever so we're learning about winter and so we can't sleep for the whole winter and um, we've got to get up and function and go to school and work and do all those things. But we also can find food. We go to the shops and we find food because we're humans. And we can dress warmly and we can warm ourselves from the inside and the outside. So our bodies haven't been designed to sleep for the whole winter. But some animals and some creatures do. So we are learning about winter. Remember I said that we're not seeing snow around us where we are here, but if we went to other parts in our country, in South Africa, we might be able to find snow. And often it snows in places like Clarence or the Drakensberg. <clears throat> often find snow there. And like here, if you look at this mountain, it's covered in white. It's covered in snow. Let me move a little bit forward so you can see it better. Okay, can you see that there? There. Like the white, big mountains are covered in snow. If we had lots and lots of snow, we'd be able to, it would cover the ground and we'd be able to make snowmen. 
be able to roll the ice into balls and then we'll be able to make a snowman. But we can't do that right now because we don't have the snow. But you can make pretend snow at home with the ingredients with flour and salt and water. And you can try and see if you can make a snowman that way. So what do we do when it's really, really cold to keep us warm? If you look from the outside, we can dress warmly or we can sit by a fire. If mommies and daddies can make the fire, we don't play with fire because it can burn us. We can have a fire that generates some nice warm heat. We can have a heater. We can have a nice warm bath to warm up. But we can also warm ourselves from the inside. And we can do that by eating warm foods and drinking warm drinks. Things like tea or hot chocolate. We can have delicious soup, which is full of vegetables and healthy for us. So we can, these are two mugs. And there's a blanket, we can also put a blanket over us. We can dress warmly, we can put beanies on and jackets and scarves and gloves. And then I was telling you, sometimes if your car isn't parked in a garage and the temperatures get really, really cold in winter, you can get a layer of ice that covers your windscreen and parts of your car. And in order to drive, you have to get rid of the ice or you can't see. You have to pour hot water on it because the ice is solid water and when you pour hot water on it, it melts it and it becomes water and runs off. But also the plants, some of the plants be covered in ice and the grass. And it's really, really cold. And so you can see that if you go out early in the morning when the temperatures are really, really, really cold and you can see frost and you can see the dew and the ice and all that. Um, I was telling you that sometimes, so we have ice drinks in South Africa there's one in Northgate Shopping Centre where they've got a whole big arena or ice rink which is a whole lot of frozen ice and you can go inside, they keep it really, really cold. It's like being in a freezer to keep the ice frozen and you can put ice skates on and you can go skating on the ice. But if you lived in countries like, yeah, if you lived, in countries up here in winter. So here now we live in South Africa and we are in the Southern Hemisphere. If we were in the Northern Hemisphere, then when we have winter, they have summer. And when we have summer, they have winter. And you can see all this white here, the top. Even at the top here in Canada, parts of America or Northern America, Greenland or Denmark. And up here you have parts of Asia and Europe they get lots and lots and lots of snow in winter and a lot of their dams freeze over it gets so so cold that the water in the dam freezes and it makes an ice rink and those people can go and they can skate on top of what was their dam or even sometimes like a swimming pool becomes frozen how much fun would that be so this is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and we are in south africa so we have winter now when these people all have summer and when they have winter we have summer remember swaps out here's just some pictures of things that hibernate so bats hibernate can you see that they bats hang upside down and they are nocturnal so they are awake at night and they sleep during the day but in winter they sleep and they wrap their wings around them tightly in almost like a cocoon to keep them warm on the inside. And you get mongoose and you get squirrels. They all go either into a tree or underground. Um, you've got little hedgehogs and they hibernate and they also find burrows. And they go and they roll themselves up into a ball and they sleep for winter and they wake up again when it gets warmer in spring. And there's different things that can happen. They can either hibernate in a tree or they can go underground or under rocks or they can go into hollowed logs, so like a tree trunk that's been hollowed. All the stuff in the inside has been taken out and they can go in there because then they can stay nice and warm. Bears, we don't have bears in South Africa, but they have bears in America and that. They can go into caves. And then you've got frogs and that. Some insects that go and live in the mud. And then they emerge again when it gets warmer. Or they can migrate. So they fly or move to warmer places. Well done, guys. So this season is winter. 
as the experiencing today. Okay, now what Teacher Sam is going to do with you, is I've got a whole lot of, we're going to pretend that these are snowflakes. They're blue stickers, we're going to use our imaginations and pretend that they are snowflakes that have fallen to the ground and we are going to stick them onto this page. So I'm going to stick this page on my board so that you can see the different numbers. numbers. Let's move forward. Okay. So we are going to stick our stirs, our snowflakes, okay? So here's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we are going to stick them the right amount of snow, snowflakes to match each number. So if we say number one, how many snowflakes do we put by number one? We put one. And then you're going to see them all go up. Then the next number is number two. How many do we put for two? Do we put three? No, we put two. Okay, so you're going to count with me. So there's number two, and I'm going to say one, two. Okay, so there's one for number one, two for number two. The next number's three. So how many do you have to put for three? Can you show me with your fingers? One, two, three. We're going to put three. Okay. One, two, three. Look, I've got three. One. Two, three. Okay, then let's put them here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Next, what number comes after three? One, two, three. What comes after three? Four. Can you show me four fingers? One, two, three, four. How many stickers do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's put them there. Count with me. One, two, three, Good job, 
we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going on to number eight. Can you show me eight fingers? Five and three is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do this. Okay. One snowflake. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Then now we're going on to number nine. Can you show me nine? Just put one finger down. Five and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just put that one down and four. Four and five is nine. Let's do this. Nine snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and now they're the same. Eight. I need one more for nine. Good job. See how they're all climbing up. And our last one's ten. Show me two full hands of ten. And let's put our ten snowflakes on here. Let's go one, two, three.
snowflakes, twirling, twirling snowflakes, here and there, here and there. Good job. Should we quickly do the hokey pokey? Okay, so we're going to do the hokey pokey, but we're going to do it the winter hokey pokey. So we're going to put our right glove or mitten in. We're going to say glove. Put your right glove in. You put your right glove out. You put your right glove in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Put your left glove in. You put your left glove out. Put your left glove in and you shake it all about. You do.